Welcome back to Outdoor Chef Life. Joss and I are in Washington and today we are fishing with Jordan from Addicted Fishing. And he also has a second channel as well called Stay Fishy. He's been working on for the past year and he's been doing great. Check it out. And today he's taking us on an epic adventure. There's a ton of berries and fruit on this trail. I saw some blueberries about to go off, but they're not ready. But the blackberries. Oh, yeah. Yeah. And then those uh, plums that we found. Oh, nice. Those are good. Already a fruitful day. So hopefully we can catch some salmon as well. And we'll see what else we get. Oh, here we go. Look at them all. They're everywhere. <laughs> Look at them. There's 20 right there. Oh, yeah. They're swimming. Oh, yeah. Oh, it's freaking see out. Their back. Here they come. Here they come. Okay, it's oh, time to yeah. catch a fish. <laughs> <laughs> All right, guys, if you haven't seen him before, this is the man. Hey, everybody. Jordan. Good to see you here. Jordan with Stay Fishy Adventures and Addicted Fishing. We're about to go have an incredible weekend of adventure. We have a lot of things planned. Yeah. Two whole days. Yeah. Two, three whole days, two whole nights. We're going to go have some fun. Uh, it's, and it's starting right now. Yeah, man. I'm so <laughs> excited. I can't, can't wait for this adventure, and it's going to go down, man. Yes. So good to see you. You too, man. So good to have you back. Yeah. Let's do it. Let's do this. I'm starting off with a little soft bead here. See if we can get, get one on there. See if I can spot one. I forgot to bring my glasses. There's a ton right there. I think they are right up in the back of the bush. Yeah, there's just a ton of them right in the bush. He's like stalking me. I know, he knows. <laughs> little knows, little sees them. I'm gonna get snagged in that bush if I cast over there. But I can see them all right here. Oh, I just missed them. So these are coho salmon. There's probably 700 of them. 700? There's 700 of them. Oh, <laughs> oh yeah, I saw one roll. Yeah. Little. Oh yeah, they gotta pass this up. Yeah. Oh. Sticks down there. Oh, that one had it. That one had it. All right. Oh my gosh, I see them. Even without my polarized sunglasses, I can see them all up in there. There's branches in there, so it's hard to get it in. Eat it. Eat it. Eat it. No. That's a so cute. This is crazy, man. What you got on there? A little pink worm. Oh, nice. I haven't done it for so long, I'm not that good at it anymore. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> right off little noggin. That is a big coho right there. There's some nice ones in there. Here, look. Who's that? All right, let's take Watch a look. This. Oh! <laughs> yeah. Oh my God, they're stacked, I'm dude. I'm not joking, dude. There's 600 They're there. stacked. <laughs> <laughs> Okay, I got a little Holy bit of crap. In there. Twiddle. In twiddle. They're literally stacked. Let's see, glasses off. Glasses on. Oh, oh, it's pretty crazy in there. Yeah, you can't even see the bottom. Yeah, it's just too many fish. Right there, this is it. Oh, what? How do they avoid that? Oh, shoot. Oh, Jordan. Jordan's on. Jordan's on. This is crazy. Jordan's on. Jordan's on. All right, I'm going to throw it in there. Oh, there's so many. Oh, yeah, he's going to eat it. They're going to eat it. Oh. Put these glasses on, Jocelyn. Okay. And look into that pool. Wow. It's in there. I know. How are they oh. getting it? Come on. I know. It's actually kind of busted. Yeah. It's pretty crazy. You can see him. He freaking had that in his mouth. Ooh. Ooh, one came up. This should be too easy, but it's harder than it is. There's so many that I feel like you could throw a spear and immediately pull out three. 
Yeah. Yeah. Put a fork in there and get one. Yeah. <laughs> you could. Oh, you got one. Oh, I, t I tail. I tail. I snagged him in the tail. He popped me off on a branch. Oh. Alright, we'll try faster water. It's just so tough in there because it's so tight and tight and stuff. <laughs> it's like a kind of deep pool that I can't see because I don't got glasses. They're, they're right here. There's an endless stream of salmon right here. Come on, here we go. Oh, what to swim right through it. Oh, how? They're all running over my line. We got a little guy. I got him. What's that little? Marvelous. Marvelous. We got him. Come on, baby, get back. You got him. Got him. Nice job, dude. <laughs> yeah. Yes. Little guy. Nice. Little guy. Nice huh? and shiny. Yeah, he's wow. he's nice though. Give him a little bump. He's nice, though. dude. Dinner. He's nice though. Yes. <laughs> Woohoo! First one on the board, dude. We got it. We got plums. We got blackberries. Now we got coho salmon. Way to go, brother. Yeah. Nice fish. Nice fish. There they come. Watch, Jocelyn's gonna get it on, her, on the first first minute. A little, a little. Oh my gosh, I knew it. Jocelyn's already got one. Jo oh, lost it. Jocelyn hooked it uh, on, on the first uh, two minutes with the with the rod, of course, obviously. Um, but that was, trust me, you had one on the first cast. Okay. All right, show off. <laughs> here they come, here they come, here they come. They're all... Yeah. Yeah, nice. Oh my gosh, there's so many. Gosh, there's so many. Yeah, come on, cast right now. Push, big one, big push right now. They get nervous if there's a crowd. Oh, they get nervous for the yeah, so Oh, there's one swimming downriver. Yeah, I saw that. So these are coho salmon, also known as silver salmon. And right now they're pushing up the river to go and spawn. And uh, this river is going to be closed within a week. So by that time, they'll be able to do their thing and left alone. But before then, um, the fishermen have a chance to, to catch them. And these salmon runs are all about timing. You know, you kind of got to know when they're, when they're spawning and when the river's open as well. Um, there's a lot of regulations behind it that, that you gotta look up uh, if you want to do this type of fishing. Um, especially in Washington, Oregon, California, all the whole west coast is a lot of tons of regulations, especially in the rivers. We're good to fish them right now. But yeah, it's a, it's a fun opportunity for the fishermen to catch some. And uh, we saw a lot of people on our way here that we're leaving with, you know, fish as well. We're in the Olympic Peninsula and this part of Washington is, uh, is like a mini Alaska. I love this area. This is one of my favorite places, um, favorite areas in Washington. Absolutely beautiful. If you get a chance to visit Washington, definitely go check out the Olympic Peninsula. It's awesome. Oh no, it's around, around the freaking tree. Oh. <laughs> oh my god, Jordan's on an ultralight. <laughs> Oh, it's a wild fishing. Oh God, that's a good one. Good one. Oh, my heart's pounding. My heart's pounding. My heart's pounding. Go, 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 go! You got him. Yes. Oh, that's a good oh one, dude. Lord. That's a good one. Heck yeah. Did you guys see that? Dude. Oh, oh, oh. Beauty. Oh my God. <laughs> Holy crap! A big hatchery one. Look at big that hatchery one. Hatchery male. That's gonna have some nice meat wow. on it. Yeah. Mm, what just it? happened? How did that even happen? He was wrapped around six logs. Yeah. At geez. least. So many logs. Holy crap. There he is. Oh, here they come. Should I step on one? Oh. Yeah. Stop it. <laughs> River's cold, huh? Yeah, but also these rocks just hurt. Oh. Here, I can carry you on my back. Oh, God. 
All right, we made quick work of that. We got the one, and Jordan got the one. We don't really need too many fish right now, and we're gonna be fishing all weekend. So we're gonna head to the next adventure. We're gonna see if we can find some mushrooms. It should be time now. This should be popping up. So that would make this trip completely epic if we get some delicious mushrooms. You didn't end up collecting any blackberries, eh? I want to try one though. Oh my gosh, sweet as heck, so sweet. The blackberries are the sweetest. I mean, the wild strawberries maybe, yeah, maybe the sweetest, but. That's like almost too sweet. Too sweet, eh? No, it's literally so sweet. These are the Himalayan blackberries. All right, a little bit of uh, change in scenery here. And uh, we're gonna look for mushrooms. Okay, so. The man said it. You go this way, I go that way? Yep, I'll go downhill, you go up. Sounds good to okay. me. Rendezvous. Let's do this. See you later. All right. What'd you find? Nice. Little black ones. Dehydrated. What are they? Yeah, I don't know what that is. It's not a trumpet. It looks know, almost like a trumpet, but now it's got yeah. gills. Let's look for some shanties. This is like a good chanterelle kind of. Even porcini, maybe. I'm excited to be getting back into this mushroom season. Feels like it's been a while. It's been a long year without mushrooms. So far, no, no, not much. Some old stuff, and oh, I see something. No, here's a little trash. Pick that out, and take a look at this right here. Is that what I think it is? Okay, our first find. We got some chicken of the woods right here. Got a nice little cluster of it. There's one on the back side of this log as well. And recently bought a life vest for Jocelyn. It's actually doubles as a perfect mushroom bag. Look at it, it's a mesh bag. Got a little zipper on top. So we're gonna take a little bit of this chicken of the woods and we'll use it for dinner. Let's see, with chicken of the woods, I don't really, like you gotta find the soft ones. It's usually the outer margin that's going to be good. If you get too close to the wood, it really tastes like wood. It's, it's really styrofoamy, cardboard kind of texture. So I kind of just get the outer margin and try to find whichever one's the softer ones. This should be all right. Oh, there's a slug eating it right here. Did you see that? Yeah. Banana slugs just munching on it. All right, you can have that one, buddy. Take the one under you. Ooh, they smell really good. Ah, oh, this one's good right here. Much softer. That might be enough. Let's go find other mushrooms. Oh, we haven't seen much else. That's funny. You guys got chicken of the woods too. Heck yeah, we got yeah, food, nice. everyone! Sweet. Woo! Nice. They're nice and fresh, too. Yeah, they're like they just These were not out. as fresh. No? Look at this guy. No. Yeah, let me see yours. Oh, yeah, these are way tender, yeah. So, yeah, that's the different uh, stages. This one, maybe a couple days, maybe even a week older. This one's probably come out in the last week. Yeah. But, uh, nonetheless, fresh they'll all sure. taste good. That's fresh. Mm -hmm. Woohoo! Yeah. That is so nice. Crazy. All right, we're gonna check out one more spot for some mushrooms. Uh, it feels much cooler in the air here, a little less sun. So maybe a chance with chanterelles. Uh, we'll, give it, we'll give it a try. Yeah, we'll go this side. A little bit bushier on this side, but yeah. All right, nothing on that one. Pretty surprised we didn't see much. I'm thirsty, working up a sweat. I'm gonna grab a fresh drink. Oh, this is our salmon from earlier. Our Athletic Brewing West Coast IPA. And you wanted the sour? Yeah. A couple videos ago, we did a sponsor with Athletic Brewing and they're a non-alcoholic uh, brew. We personally liked Athletic Brewing so much that we wanted to do another sponsorship with Athletic Brewing and they agreed to it as well. So here's another one. And then Jocelyn was doing a little digging and she found they do some limited edition non-alcoholic brews on their website that's not it's sold in stores so she wanted to try their sours mm. so she got some of that and i got some west coast ipa that we got online through the link below 
And how do they taste? Hmm. <sighs> That's good. And how's your sour? It tastes like a good sour. Passion fruit and mango. Dang. Tropical vibes. And if you never tried them, and I'll tell you, just give it a shot. So check them out. Links in the description. Thanks, Athletic Brewing, for sponsoring the video. I'm gonna give one of these to Jordan. Let's see what he says. Oh, you guys got more chicken in other woods. Chicken. Nice. Got back to the road. Some freshies. Yeah. Some more freshies. Yeah. Not as fresh, but still fresh. Super duper, but nice ones. So oh, yeah. Okay. Oh, yeah, pretty good still. Thumbnail worthy nonetheless. Mm, yeah. <laughs> Sweet. Yeah. Try Thank this. you. Try that. West athletic. Coast IPA. Since we were just athletic. Yeah. Cheers. Look, working up a sweat. Cheers, there you, you guys. go. Woo. Yum. Oh. <laughs> that's like a cold IPA after cutting up mushrooms. <laughs> cool. Awesome. Well, on to camp. Yeah, let's, let's go. go. check it out. Let's go. Here we are. Found paradise. Yeah, man, yeah, this is nice. Great as the sun went down. We got about oh, probably an hour and a half to cook, hour and 45 minutes before it's dark. What a perfect day. Look at how flat that ocean is. Tomorrow we're going to be out Beautiful. there. It's so nice, dude. Oh. It's what a so cool nice. day so far. Oh, I just had one question for you. How was that um how was that drink that I gave you? It's gone. <laughs> <laughs> what would you rate it from just 10, out 10. 10. 10 out of 10. And I'm not even an IPA guy, but it was so <laughs> I love a good frothy IPA like that. That's yeah. really like, creamy and smooth. And what would you say if I told you that's actually non-alcoholic? <laughs> oh, was it? Yeah. Oh my god. That's delicious. <laughs> good. We yeah, didn't break so... any rules. So we're doing a, a little sponsor with Athletic Brewing. That's it. They yeah. make the non-alcoholic. Oh my brews. God, it's yeah. delicious, no, you guys. No, they make awesome stuff. <laughs> All right. Well, well played. There you Touché, go. my yeah. friend. All right, guys, look at this. We got a beautiful beach. What'd you call me? <laughs> a beautiful <laughs> beach. <laughs> wow. uh, we're gonna cook dinner right now, but we're gonna have that on Jordan's channel. You're gonna post this on Stay Fishy? Yep, this will be on Stay Fishy Adventures, guys, right here on YouTube. Oh, so we're yeah. gonna do a pretty cool recipe with the mushrooms and the fish. We're living off the land on this on this episode here, so everything that we're eating on this trip is gonna be forage or picked by us. So yeah. come on over and check it out. This is gonna go. be a fun one. Yeah, otherwise, we'll see you in the morning. Go check out his channel. All right, dinner was delicious. Um, just do a little tick check. Uh, just a PSA. If you go mushroom foraging, getting them all in the bush, you gotta make sure to do a tick check because there are ticks out here. And I've probably found what, just one tick? Yeah, just one, one or two. Yeah, one tick after mushroom foraging session, uh, just right on my waist. So I'm gonna just check Jocelyn. <laughs> <laughs> go ahead, just turn around. <laughs> we can't put it on camera. <laughs> <laughs> All right, to check is complete, and I just want to uh, show you uh, where we're staying. <laughs> Can't really see anything, I guess, but uh, show you how we get down here. Okay, we got the van right there. All right, you see that? And look at this. All right, it's hard to see. Rooftop tent. Sean's gonna be right here under this tarp. Pretty dope. <laughs> The tarpology. <laughs> the tarpology. Tarpology at its finest. And what the, we call man, it. the man is making some salad. Yeah. We, little... had, we had delicious dinner, but we're still we're still hungry. Still hungry. That's what these trips yeah. are all about is eating. Yeah. Cooking in the outdoors is the best. It is. It's so yeah. warm out. It's I bet so it's nice. still 65 at least. Yeah, it's so nice. Look at that. A little rice wine vinegar. Ooh, that a little bit delicious. of kale. Man, nice colorful healthy. cabbage. Yeah. Like that's it. gonna go on top of my, my dad's sausage. sausage. German sausage. German sausages? Yeah. Oh, I like it. Sausage sandwich. Oh, I like Beautiful. it. We're going to butterfly them. Homemade. Cook them in that IPA. Oh, yeah. Nice. And we'll just render them down in the pan. Ooh. Should be good. Mm, yum. We've got some stars starting to show. We are out here chilling now. We're doing a little German style sausage sandwich. Of course. Yeah. Oh, like... yeah. We got more. You got it. That's gonna really taste good. It's gonna kind of turn into like a little bit of a glaze and we'll try to deglaze that pan a little bit at the end. So we'll let those cook up. And we're gonna put it on some 
Seattle sourdough. Oh yeah. I like this old school Coleman. You like that? This is literally my grandpa's. This thing's really? probably Oh my god. This thing's Still probably running. 60 years old. Yeah. It's crazy. Yeah, damn. That is smelling so, so good. Yeah, it's getting nice and caramelized. Yeah, dude. Look at that. Got the mustard seed popping out there. Nice little treat for later. Coming out of your cheek somewhere. <laughs> <laughs> okay. Sausage. A little bit of hot sauce. Truffle ghost pepper hot sauce. Very good. <laughs> A little bit of yellow mustard. Good old mustard. Never hurt nobody. And we en ended up throwing a few bean sprouts oh, nice. into that. Yeah, that's cool. There that's you go, my friend. That's for me. Bottoms up. Yum. Thank you. Beautiful. I can't really see it because my headlamp's dying. Looks good. Mm. Good combo. Mm -hmm. <laughs> mm. Ooh, cameraman Sean taking a little break. All three of us is, <laughs> have already finished ours yeah. in a hurry. Yeah. Now it's Sean's. They get to watch me. <laughs> <Yeah>. <laughs> I get to relive it with you. <laughs> nice. All right, we got some breakfast going here. Justin made some ricotta toast with some roasted garlic and tomatoes. Top with a little parmesan. Ricotta pesto. Ricotta pesto. Oh, lemon juice. Yeah, just a bit. Or if you have zest, but. Mm. All right, everybody got breakfast. We're ready to go. Are you ready? Yeah. All right, let's hit the road. Another day. So we just got to Nia Bay, which is the northwest corner of the continental United States, the Washington. And um, this is the native reservation for the Macaw uh, tribe. And they just had Macaw days. So there was a little parade going on and a little bit of a uh, bit of fun. I think there's going to be some vendors as well. So we're going to check that out and, you know, hang out with some people and then go fish later. Take a look at this. This is awesome. As Macaw, we have always been proud of our heritage, our language and culture, and our Macaw Day celebrations. So here's wishing you a very happy Macaw Days. Indian taco, basically fry bread with a taco, taco toppings on top. <laughs> you already bit it. <laughs> Look at that. A little tiny bite. Little <laughs> I haven't had one of these in a long time. Indian taco? Mm -hmm. I never had one. Mm. How's that? Pretty good. Nice. I like it. bread is really soft and chewy. Mm -hmm. That's delicious. Okay, we had a good time this morning stopping by 
uh, the macaw days. That was really cool. Uh, now we are getting on the boat here in Nia Bay and about to go do some fishing for a little bit. It's already, it's like 3.30 3 p.m. right now. So I don't know how long we'll be out there. Uh, Cause we gotta come back, cook some dinner. <laughs> We're gonna be busy tonight. Um, hopefully we have a nice epic meal. All right, all Huge boat. So Jordan has a friend here that runs this charter. His name's Ben. And he's taking us out on this big boat. All, all by ourselves, basically. Uh -huh. This is like a 20 person charter normally. <laughs> I know, it's all, how lucky. Look at all, all the rod holders. Look at all, yeah, so all many. The, all the Look how big this is. And yeah, it's just us. Pretty sweet, pretty special yep. special treatment here. So my good friend Ben from Windsong Charters here in Nia Bay invited us to come out. We told him we were coming into town. We obviously got to go see the festival, but now we get to go enjoy the ocean together. It's <laughs> so cool, man. Yeah, it was awesome. What an experience. What an epic way to experience Nia Bay. I'm Eli. Eli? Eli? Eli's Ben son. He's going to be our other deckhand today, so nice. he's going to be showing us how this is done out here. I what do you think we're going to catch? Slay, you slay some fish. Yep. Yeah? Yeah. What do you think we're going to catch? Halibut and salmon. Yeah. Uh, All right. Uh, that sounds good to me. I love giveaway. both. <laughs> Let's do it. Yeah. Okay, we are slowing down. We all know what that means. <laughs> you want to learn? Yeah, I never used the electric reel. Let's do it. So what we're fishing. Okay. Yeah. So I, when I drop, I'm going to keep my thumb right here. Yeah. Okay. Yeah. And we're going to open a crank all the way down. Now, once it taps bottom, I'm going to reel up one to two. Bounce, bounce, bounce. Yeah. When your fish comes on, I want you to start reeling, mm -hmm. and then we're going to increase your speed. So this is like your gas pedal on a car. Okay. Okay, so everything's the exact same as normal, except this is your gas pedal. Okay. So once you're on, once you reel them up a little bit, yeah. you increase the gas, and oh. you go halfway, three-quarter throttle, uh -huh. and, and fish with it. So go ahead and drop okay. it. Let's hit bottom. Should be 490. Ooh. 480, somewhere in there. Oh, yeah. Little, little guy on. Come on. Okay, so we reel up a couple. Start up and down. Jig that hard. You want to wake them up. Go ahead. You want this one? Drop it. You want? Yeah, you can drop it. You can take this one. Oh, there's one. There's one. There's one. There's one. Oh. 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 Oh, electric wheel! Electric wheel! Oh yeah! Look, I can still reel it. Yeah, we got one. Oh, got one? Hang yep. one. Hang one. one. Oh! There we go. Small Hallie. Small Hallie. Little guy. There you go. Thank you. So we're in the little hole. We gotta move to the big hole, boys. You got one? I think so. I was like, it's all I do. I just watch it. Oh, nice sling. Dolphin got a nice sling. They just bite without any bait. Yeah, I know. Yeah, like that. Small one off for Jocelyn, she says. She got big wing cod on the last one. Got a lot of, you got a lot of line. Okay, can we stop? Yeah. Oh, oh, we're, we're clear. We're clear. Kind of. Black cuddle. All right, Jordan. Here we uh, go. Jocelyn's got the biggest fish so far. What do you got on that? I haven't huh? even touched one. <laughs> what do you got right, on sometimes that? Sometimes the ladies got to be the lionesses and, and get the dinner for us, too. <laughs> it's a good feeling, honestly. Brooks on one. Brooks on one. There we go. Jocelyn's got it. Look at the dogs. They really want to see the fish. They're like, come on, Jocelyn, what you got? What do you got? All right, let's see what let's see what Brooks got. Is it a butt? It's a butt. Yeah. Oh, yeah. Alibi. Alibi. That's a butt, bro. Good job. And you're going to lift the line right to my hand right now. Oh, here we go. I don't know. You tell me. I'll have... Be patient, little. It's not here yet. 
What is it? What is it? Good work, that's yeah. One of the in the world. Oh, that's a good Absolutely. one. Smoke it. Heck yeah. You. <laughs> you got this. You can do it. <laughs> and three, two, one. Bang. Oh, yep. 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 Call it. Yeah, that's right, that's right. Bring him up, bring him up. Oh, yeah. Oh, yeah. Oh, yeah. Oh, yeah. That's a good one. Two biggest fish on the boat. Should I make it three? No, it's okay. You gotta take a turn. <laughs> now, my reel's um, out of service. That's why I haven't been able to fish. You can use mine. Oh, thank I you. I put my luck in it, so <laughs> I just need a bigger one. Oh yeah, I can hand crank. <laughs> there she goes again, slaying the fish. <laughs> oh, you can do your gym time. Oh, yeah! yeah. Girl. <laughs> okay, we saw some salmon jumping, so we switched to doing a little salmon fishing. We got a rod here, we're just running some spoons. All right. Uh, we actually got one salmon on the boat. Uh, I didn't get it on camera though. But um, yeah, we're gonna head back in because we got we got a busy night tonight. We're gonna go to this uh, more do more of this festivities. Uh, it should be a lot of fun. So I'm kind of I'm really excited for it. That people have talked it up quite a bit here. You excited for it? Yeah. And I'm hungry. <laughs> All right, check out Jocelyn's fish. Wing cod, halibut. Oh yeah. She got the spy two biggest fish of the evening. All right, Ben, thank you so much for taking us out. Hey, absolutely. Thank you so much. Check out Windsong Charters. That's our uh, company out here in Nia Bay, Washington. Yeah. We'd love to earn your business and uh, treat you well on the ocean. Yeah, and, uh, it was an amazing time. Yeah, very good time. Beautiful, beautiful yeah. day. Oh my gosh. Uh, yeah. I'll leave a uh, link in for their website yeah. in the description. All right. Absolutely. But yeah. Thanks all. Thank you. Thank you. Sweet. Yeah. Well, we'll get, we'll get fish. So this is what I was saying about the mud. Oh, I know. <laughs> yeah, it is, looks muddy. <laughs> Dang. That looks muddy. Jordan, you got a um, eggs? Yeah. <laughs> All right, we got some eggs. I'm gonna need a towel. Okay, I got an egg loop knot on here. Tiny leader, huh? Oh, wow. Oh, hi. Wow, you're pretty. Hey. <laughs> oh, yeah. The beads are killing them? Yeah, just plain beads. And it's like, I mean, it's not even official. It's so incredibly low. All water, right. First cast there of the morning. Yeah. I 
Oh, boy, oh, Doctor. Oh, he's a ripper. Oh yeah, this guy looks colored up. Oh, looks like a red one. Looks like a dark one. All right, because it's the reason to keep fishing, right? Yeah. There <laughs> we go. First fish of the morning. Out of my like second or third cast. Oh. It's a tank, huh? It's a tank. Yeah. Big old head Right to us. Oh yeah. Oh yeah. He's. <laughs> oh, he's a freaking bruiser. That's a bruiser, dude. Oh, he's start up. He's all start up. He's all messed up, dude. Wow. Nice job, dude. Nice job. That thing is dude. <laughs> Somehow, that we're in the tide water, yeah. but you and I both got the only two dark fish in here. <laughs> <laughs> nice fish, though. Yeah. Heck yeah. Really pretty. Got battle scars on her. Yeah. We've all the eggs inside. Yep. We're going to let her go, though. Ready, fun? Yeah. Heck yeah. And she's off. There we go. That's where you get the day started. Nice. Oh, come on, dude. Come on. Oh. Oh. I can see him, dude. Oh, here we go. What? Yep, yep, he's got it. He's got it. He's freaking bobber up in you. Dude. Oh, oh my god, that was him too. What the no heck? Belly. He's got it. He has it. He has it. No, he didn't. Sorry. No, no. No. <laughs> sabotage. <laughs> yeah, sabotage. <laughs> oh, yeah, nice. Nice job, dude. Nice job, dude. There you go. Oh, running up. He's running back up. He's running back up. Oh, he's running back up. There it is. Nice. Nice job. Good job, guys. This is insane, man. <laughs> this is insane. <laughs> Chinook fishing and just like loaded. <laughs> Hooking up left and right, dude. Pretty crazy. Oh, there's just one swam right by me. Oh, that's his fish. Oh my gosh. <laughs> Oh, got him. <laughs> is it another Look, I dirty one? That. It might be a little dark, but I didn't see it giant like that. Wow. That's pretty dark. Pretty but dark big, one. But it's another big one. Got him, another one. Okay. Oh, it came off. Oh. That's all right. All right, long line release. Yeah. Good one to lose. Oh. Oh, that a boy. Got him. Oh, a little bit better with. Nice job. Ah, <coughs> oh, yeah. Got another one hooked up. Got him. Got him. Oh, oh, double. My oh, my God. Oh, no. Dang it. This guy's another bruiser. Actually, that one's not that bad. Not too bad, huh? Not too bad. Feel that. Got a fish in the back. Look back when we got fish in the cooler. Uh huh. What do you think? Ah, you can let it go for now. Let's go for a better one. Oh, oh, oh. Heck yeah, dude. Look at that thing. Oh, Jordan's. Jordan's got it. Oh, yeah. Chromish, yeah. Yeah, it looks better. Heck yeah. Yeah, Jordan. That's a good one. That's a good one, dude. Oh, that's a really pretty one. That's a pretty one. 
Yes! That's the one. That's the one. That's the meal. That's the, yep. Yeah. Wearing them out. Here you go, buddy. Oh, yeah. Thank you, brother. Oh. Yeah, man. Thank you. Appreciate it. Yeah. Good assist. Came right out in the net. Nice. There's a fish right next to him, Bobber. Oh. <laughs> <laughs> Ask and you yeah. shall receive. <laughs> Chrome, dude. Super chrome. Yeah, man. fresh one. Look at that. Nice. Another hen. Got some eggs. Yeah. That one's ours. Yeah. Yes. Good work. <laughs> All right. Cameraman Sean is getting in the action. Let's see if he gets one. There's like 20 of them right here. No way. Yeah. They're a little bit further out. This bobble right here is a Okay. What's going on? It bit it, nibbled it. Oh, no, oh, come on. Oh, well. Uh, oh, yeah, okay. Good to know. Oh, that's a pretty one. Oh, there you go, Sean. Yeah. That's a nice one. It's a hot one. That one was biting for a while. Yeah. Like I saw it just nibbling nice. for like 30 seconds. Nice. So it's do not go around the bridge. Oh, you better you not let him over the hole. Oh, you did. Uh oh, uh oh, uh oh. Oh, dude, he got no. you on the. Oh, no. Yeah, I got, yeah, he got you around the bridge, dude. Oh. <laughs> no. Oh, it was man. A good fish. That was a good fish, huh? Yeah. All right, guys, a little morning session on the river. Oh, I can't believe it. I feel like I'm in Alaska. Yeah, I keep thinking that, but no, it's Washington. And this is private property too, that we got permission to fish on. So um, it's very special that we get to be here. Really lucky. Okay, so look what Jordan just whipped up for lunch. Very special. Lorraine, uh, who we were fishing right next to this morning, invited us into their camp to make some of their homemade fry bread tacos. It's a very, very traditional uh, fry bread that they, these guys are actually from the Southwest, from New Mexico. Okay. So from another tribe. Yeah. Not the macaw that we're here on the nation. So it's really cool. Really, really getting to share a lot of everybody's culture here today, so. <laughs> yeah, that's Salmon really cool. fry bread tacos. It smells amazing. That's awesome. Well, that's gonna be on Addicted Fishing. So I'll uh, go check that out if you, he's been filming multiple episodes with like a <laughs> couple of them like stay fishy, a couple of them addicted fishing. Yeah. So he's got the two channels going. So yeah, I'll link both videos in the description. <laughs> <laughs> but this looks awesome. Fry bread, look at that. Smoosh your fry bread if you don't want everything to fall off. Okay. A little bit of salmon. So uh, just for you guys, yeah. I'm going to blow my diet today. <laughs> <Yeah>. <laughs> Thank you. There you go. Wow. Ooh, I love onions. Yeah. Let's finish it off a little lettuce. The fry bread is so soft. Mm -hmm. It's like pillow. All right, guys. It's been an awesome time in the Olympic Peninsula. Uh, if you guys ever get a chance to visit, I highly recommend it. One of my favorite places uh, in Washington and just on the West Coast in general. First time coming to Nia Bay, and it's been a blast on the Macaw Reservation. And everybody's been so friendly and in inviting us to fish. And you know, being able to fish in this uh, private section of the river is truly, um, truly grateful for that. So I'm gonna make some dinner tonight. Uh, Jordan made lunch, so we're not ready to eat yet. But I'm just gonna prep stuff. So once dinner rolls around, I can just put everything together, and bang. And if I want to fish. River's right behind me. You're gonna see fish rolling right behind me as I cook too. They're gonna be taunting me. Anyways, Johnson got that halibut last night. We're gonna utilize that fish for some apricot ceviche. No, nectarine. <laughs> I keep getting apricot and nectarine uh, mixed up. We're gonna, uh, I'm gonna make some nectarine ceviche because uh, I wanna utilize some of this, the summer ingredients and nectarines are really like in peak season right now. I've just been seeing, ev seeing them everywhere. So, I think that'll be delicious. A nectarine halibut ceviche. And I'm also gonna fry some of that black cod we caught last night as well, as well as utilize that salmon we got on the river on the first day. Let's get to it. Oh, look at this filet. Must have been the one Jordan filleted. <laughs> no, we were just using a super dull knife. That was incredibly dull. 
I'm just gonna take out this this middle part here. Middle, this has a bit of pin bones in it. So halibut can have worms, so you do have to kind of be careful about that. And so what I normally do is I take the top loin of the halibut, which is less likely to have uh, parasites, which it still can, but just has a bit, usually has less. I'm gonna cube this up pretty small here. I just run my fingers through just to make sure that it's all separated and it's all cut through. No worms. And the smaller you cut them too, the more, more likely you're going to spot those worms. Taunting me behind me. I can hear the salmon jumping. How often do you get to come to a place with a river behind you that's just filled with king salmon? Just an incredible opportunity. Just cube them up. And if you notice here, I'm not really crushing down on it like as you would on a vegetable. I'm slicing through. You gotta slice through the fish. You can't crush the fish. You gotta slice through, use that knife. My fingers are all pink and red because of the, the eggs we're using for bait. They're cured up and uh, yeah, they stain a lot. Limes, let's see if three is enough. Extra juicy. <laughs> We'll just keep that out of the sun for a bit while I prep the other stuff. Red onion. Pepper of choice today is habaneros. So we've been getting some really weak stuff from the store. The Serranos and stuff just been really weak. So got to upgrade to the habaneros. Oh yeah, that's good. That's spicy. Oh yeah, oh. Woo. that just hit me. <laughs> I think one will be plenty. Not really. Mm, tasty. That comes out pretty easily actually if you quarter them. Can I give them another one? Yeah, go for it. Austin's just over there feeding the chickens in the chicken coop. She gets distracted with animals easily. That's all the apricots we need. Nectarines. That's all the <laughs> That's all the nectarines we need. <laughs> I don't know why you want them to be are you guys a little fishing snack? Yes. I'm famished. <laughs> oh, yum. Take it. Thank you. Take one to Jason, too. Mm -hmm. Just like one. Wait a little bit. <laughs> yeah. There you go. Oh, thank you. You're welcome. Here you go. Here you go. Here you go, chickens. Hold on. I think the last thing we need is just some cilantro. And a dash of oregano. Yeah, I haven't seasoned it yet. Alright. Check out these badass 
salt and pepper grinders from Hex Glide. These are, it's hefty. I can almost work out with them. Pretty badass. Bit of seasoning. Don't be shy with the salt. A little bit of oregano. A little bit of black pepper as well. Mix this up. Ooh, look at the halibut already turning white, cooking. Mmm, that cilantro smells so good. Ceviche is so easy to make. Make sure you taste your food when you're cooking, when you're making stuff. It's good, but it's not spicy enough actually. So I'll add a bit more uh, habaneros. All right, we'll mix that up, give it one more taste, and that's it. Yeah, that's spicier. All right, we'll put that in the cooler for now. All right, so here's our coho that we got on the first day. Um, I just kept it in the cooler, and it's okay to not fillet right away. Actually, it makes it, the meat a little bit more tender. You know, I'm usually easier to fillet after a couple of days. Uh, I, and it just stays oh my gosh look at the look at the oh. color of the row in there just look at oh that my God. incredible color what that looks That's cured insane. already that looks so cured that is insane yeah this is the most insane row I've ever seen oh no Come off. There we go. Look at that. Wow. <laughs> this is awesome. Just gonna put this away for now. But I cannot wait to eat this. Okay, take the head off now. Okay, from this side. Start off in the back. 45 degree angle, go all the way down the fish. Nice clean cut. Wipe your knife, clean it off a little. And going into the, going all the way to the center bone, the spine. Then I'm gonna go straight through the rib cage here. I'm gonna run my knife all the way down the spine of the fish. And I always like to poke a little hole right there at the tail. Gives me a little holding spot for the fillet. Look at that, it cut wow. so red too. We're gonna save this bone here. I'm gonna scrape all the meat off. Just gonna trim this off here, nice and lightly. And run your knife at the same time. It comes off so easily. I come under the rib bones there, boom, pop it off. And now, come in and just take that rib cage off. I wanna just trim off one more piece right there, this fin. There we go. All right, now with this here, leftover meat, I'm just gonna scrape it off with a spoon, just like we do with the tuna, because we're gonna have a use for that. If you only have one salmon, it doesn't make too much meat out of it. So maybe it won't be worth your time, but if you have tons, if you have many, then imagine all of this, or maybe you didn't fillet too well, you have plenty of meat to scrape off. Take off the collar stuff too. And this recipe here that I'm doing, this is uh, going to be a scotch egg. Salmon scotch egg, I've done it before. I'm going to make it again. I thought it was such a great idea because the day I did it, we had tons of salmon. I'm gonna have this black cod. I'll just go ahead and portion these up for a uh, little, little uh, fish fingers. Taking a little break. One, cause uh, I'm almost ready to cook and 
Um, it's not dinner time yet. And there's a ton of fish right here that I can just see swimming. I can see the wake that they're making right there, right there. There's like four at least. Another one jumped over there. So uh, I got to cast. <laughs> I got to do it. And now I just have on this really big bead. Give that a shot. They're literally just swimming right past it. Okay, you know what? I'm gonna just finish this cooking. All right, let's get back to cooking. I have some soft boiled eggs here and I'm just gonna cover this with the salmon. You know what? I'll do a little bit of a, this is mochiko. It's mochi powder. Normally you use mo make mochi with. There's so many fish jumping, but they're not really biting much. Ooh, little wind. I'm going to use that to kind of uh, coat these eggs first. And this, this could be flour or whatever. And I'm going to grab some salmon. And we'll just coat this egg. I don't want to squish it too hard because the egg is really, really soft. It's a soft boil, so... And the salmon kind of sticks to itself. I could put an egg in there, kind of make it bind a little easier. But I figured it shouldn't be a problem kind of sticking to itself. Mochiko, this uh, flour, and that'll help it to bind the salmon together. All right, I'm gonna heat up my oil here. It's a little windy now. Hopefully you can get that hot. I'll work on this for now. I'm gonna make like a patty. Grab an egg and we'll just wrap it. Perfect, there we go. And I got my panko. Got some mochiko in here. I'm gonna make some beer batter with this. Make, let's try a little beer batter. I'm gonna do one, just to test in here. Just, just uh, get it in there. And then do a double coat in here. Get more panko on there. Okay, yep, my oil is nice and ready. Let's go in there. Oh, that's a big ball. Nice. Then we could do one just as is. See which one's better. We got double batter and just straight punkle. Yeah, let me just also fry up just a little bit of this mochiko batter. See if it fries nicely. So I've never actually fried it. So I don't know if it's gonna be crispy or too chewy or what. But I think it'll be crispy. I'm gonna turn this one right here. Oh yeah, that was the first one. Nice. Nice. We're looking good. Yeah, the double is probably the way to go. Because this one, let's see. Yeah, you can kind of... It's probably not going to be crispy enough. Let's try this little mochiko batter. Mmm. Oh, crispy and chewy. Oh, yeah. That's looking good. So, I'm gonna add, we're gonna go with this mochiko theme batter. And yeah, beer batter.
Okay, I think we're we're done right here. There we go. Oh yeah. All right. For the black cod, I'm gonna season it. Let's hit these guys up too. Let's hit these with some salt. A little cayenne pepper. And we'll do garlic powder. Maybe a little bit of uh, Korean chili flakes as well. Because why not? A little bit of a spicy theme here. Okay, let's mix this up. Okay, that looks good. Got my black cod right here. Let me get this last sip of Athletic Brewing. Works well for beer batter too. Okay, with the black cod, I caught them pretty long. Going first in the flour mixture, and then in, into the batter, and back to the flour. Double, little double dip action again. And this should be nice and crunchy. Oh yeah. Now we'll start going in with the black cod. Step one. Step two. Step three. Three step program. Black cod tenders. I'm gonna put some kelp chili crisp on that. You guys can get kelp chili crisp from your local world market now. It's available in every store in the United States. So if you haven't tried it, go get one. Got a little bit of garnish on there. All right, here we go. Moment of truth for the scotch egg. Ready? Look how crispy this is. Oh, yeah. Oh, yeah, baby. Holy cow, look at that. That's just beautiful. I think I'm going to put hot sauce on the bottom here. I got Barnacle Foods Bull Whip hot sauce. This stuff is delicious, too. If you order kelp chili crisp online, just put one of these in the cart. Goes good with french fries. Goes good with all kinds. That on the bottom. And then we'll put these. This is the cura that um, I already cured. I've already done a couple videos on that already. So you can check it out if you like. We're going to top this scotch egg with the cura. Alright guys, we are just about done. Just going to put a little lemon zest to finish it off. <laughs> I just gave him a tester, a little taste tester of the scotch, the salmon scotch egg. Did I take you home? <laughs> <laughs> it's beautiful. It's really good. Awesome. I've never had anything like that. Yeah. Have you had a regular scotch egg before? Yeah. Oh my gosh, it's crazy. <laughs> oh my gosh, crazy. I gotta Come try, try some. I Come try some. That looks good. Yeah. Time. You in better mood? What did he? That's yeah. row on top there. What the heck? Yeah. You can put a little, um, Greg. You can put a little hot sauce on it too. You I just was did it. all that right here. Yeah. I was at the yeah, I just did all that. I'll try. How you doing? Good. Thank you. Wow. You did this just right here. Yeah. Huh? Yeah. You've been here all day. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> the hot this sauce, like, the... what do you? Oh, there's some right here. Oh my goodness, Ooh. man. I How's that? That's away. amazing. <laughs> wow. Okay, Jordan, let me tell you what we have here. Oh, please do. Oh, <laughs> <laughs> the wow. first one, we have the halibut uh, apricot. <laughs> no, it's not an apricot. apricot. <laughs> <laughs> um, nectarine. 
<laughs> we have halibut nectarine ceviche. Uh, wow. Dish number one. You just got some. We got some tortilla chips. Look with at that. how good that looks. Dish number two. Yeah, go I'm for it. I'm gonna do this while go you're. Jim, gonna continue yeah. while you're talking. Why not? Thank you, sir. Yeah, why not? <laughs> Dish number two. Uh, black cod tenders, with topped with little ch kelp chili crisp, and it's battered oh with uh, mochi flour. So it's got mm. a little bit of chewiness in the in okay. the batter. Yep. And the salmon scotch egg. This now, one. when you said that, I, my my imagination went wild. Yeah. And it looks like my imagination and all my wildest dreams have been met now. My goodness. How's that look? Thanks, dude. Yeah. The heck yeah. Epic. We worked hard for it. We yeah, earned it. We did. And now it's time we to did. enjoy. It is. Which one would you like, Jordan? More a little a little more athletic brewing. Finishing off. We'll take the hazy this, this time. This uh, video strong here. Well, thanks to you guys for coming. Thanks yeah. to the Macaw Nation for, having, for us. having us. Yeah, being so sweet and so awesome, and uh, it's been opening, up, time. opening up their their land and their yeah. their hearts for us and on I, this trip. I'm so grateful to be here this weekend too, yeah. on Macaw Days. That's that's fate, honestly. We yeah. had no clue. Like we talked about this, we talked about filming, mm -hmm. we talked about getting together, and he's like, "Hey, I'm thinking about going here," and I said, "I got the place." Yeah. And I made one phone call, and next thing you know, we're family. Yeah, <laughs> so, exactly. Yeah, really so yeah. cool. I know. But All right. Cheers, you cheers, guys. guys. Thanks for cooking. Mm. <sighs> That's good. Now, okay. Scotch egg. Okay, go ahead. Can't take Dig my in. Eyes off. Dig in. Wow. Oh yeah, you can try this. Wow. We make this Sean? one. Have you ever you so tried much. a crab before? No, I haven't. Oh yeah. Mm. The cura literally makes the dish. Mm -hmm. It's so fresh. Yeah. It gives it such a light, fresh mm. crisp. To so like a to a fried dish like that to have yeah. that much juiciness and freshness to it is amazing. Yeah. Isn't it super crispy? What did you say that was? Oh, the mochi flour. Yeah, it's called mochiko. Mm. Oh, I have the box. If you want to see the box, mm. right here. Oh, okay. Yeah, it's really crunchy, right? Mm -hmm. Crunchy, crispy, and it's got a little bit chewy, chewiness too. Oh, so good. And I got chips for the ceviche, halibut, and uh, nectarine ceviche. Nectarine? Wow. Yeah. With yeah. lime? Come on, man. God. Help yourself to all of it, man. We Thank got plenty. Thank you so much. That is so good. Oh my God. Thank you. You want more? You want one of these? You want some ceviche? Yeah. Fine dining on the river. Yeah, exactly. Yeah. Anyways, guys, I think that's going to be it for this one. Jordan. What a crazy, thank you crazy again. adventure. Yeah. Thanks for coming. Oh, it man. seems to always it work out. Every time, man. Yeah. Every time we're with you, we have just the best epic adventures. Now, we both have yeah. a lot of cool adventures coming up. A lot of things on the docket, but yeah. can't wait to see this video. You guys, if you want to check out the video that we made on my side, it's going to be at Stay Fishy Adventures here on YouTube. Thanks oh, yeah. for having me, man. Yeah, definitely. Anytime. We'll see you soon. Yes, sir. Thanks for watching, guys. Peace. Anybody want to try some food? <laughs>